I will now show you an example of how these concepts that I discussed in the previous videos are used in an actual research paper. So let's take a look at these logistic regression model results from Kramer's paper. And uh, we have some interesting statistics here. First of all, we have minus two times log likelihood. That's the divines that I discussed in one video. Then we have uh, a chi-square test from a likelihood ratio test that I discussed also in another video that tests whether this model explains the data better than a null model. So the hypothesis here is that there is no difference between model fit of this model and the, mo and the model with only an intercept. And the, the test is calculated by checking what's the difference between deviances and that follows the chi-square distribution when the null hypothesis holds and when the sample size is large. Then we also have uh, various pseudo R-square values that I discussed in another video. The pseudo R-squares are used because we don't have one statistic that has all the properties of R-square from a regression analysis. So different pseudo R-square values give you different aspects of the R-square. So it could be one pseudo R-square could be the correlation between the predicted value and the actual value. Another one could tell you how much variation of the data the model explain and so on. H how you choose which pseudo R-square to report is basically uh, that you look at which pseudo R-squares your statistical software provides for you. Then you check which what characteristics of R-square those pseudo R-squares mimic and then you choose uh, maybe uh, two which are most relevant for you. Here we have Cox and Snell R-square and the Nagelkarke R-square. I don't remember uh, their definitions, but here is a link that explains you uh, many of the most commonly used pseudo R-squares. Then we also have odds ratios in this paper. So the table Pris tells us that uh, exponented betas are reported. It would be uh, a lot more straightforward to say that odds ratios are reported, less jargon, but these guys decided that they will, ex instead of saying that they have odds ratios, they explain how odds ratios are calculated. So you can see here that all the th concepts that I explained in previous videos are actually used in research.